Alrighty, I accidentally cut the last recording a little bit short because I had to go do something, but here is the last two events. With Castle Corver Without Castle Corver to hold back the hordes led by Botgrog Deathmaw, the hand of the Gorger Lord, the rest of the lands of the fallen Dark Lord are open to us. His great Dark Legion is crushed in the in their black armor by our powerful hands, as if they were nothing more than tins of food. While the rest of the motley militia that makes up the human military breaks ranks and flees in terror, the Dark Lord and his vampire court are captured and burned to ash in the sunlight. Their remains will be used for seasoning. The desperate peasantry who don't manage to make it to Western can or attempt to brave the thick forests of the deep woods or murky swamps of Derevan's folly. Unfortunately for them, those that seek shelter in the woods are consumed by our pursuing warriors, while rabble fleeing into the swamps are assailed by the Mossmouth, who drag their screaming quarry deep into the bogs to be feasted upon later. The victorious Vakrog has kept his promise to the Gorger Lord and delivered him a great victory in the War of the Vampire. The mighty Margardon celebrates by sprinkling the ashes of the slain vampires upon the corpses of their most trusted generals before hungrily devouring his now well-seasoned dinner. Laughter erupts at the camps as the hands states back that vampires taste like pepper. So we get siege ability. Mark this day as the shattering of western Canor by the ravenous hordes host of the Gorger Lord. The elves, men, dwarves, halfling, and all others who call this place home have their lands rent asunder and their families feasted upon. The people of Western Canor shall bear witness to our slavering magnificence and sit in despair as all they hold dear finds a new home within our cavernous bellies. Those foolish enough to stay will watch as top tribes of ogres claim what was once theirs before they too are hunted and devoured, and the cowards that flee will only be delaying the inevitable and will die tired. The all-consuming ogre horde comes for all in the end. We are the doom of their world. All right, so that's the end of it. Uh, we can take a look through our ledger real quickly. Army quality, we have 120%, 63% siege ability, whole bunch of defensiveness, whole bunch of tradition. Um, Economy-wise, economy income comparison. I'm going to go ahead and go into observer mode. This is everything that is in the world. We are third now. Um, where is it? Military is army quality. We have still a decent amount of tradition. We are, where is it? Yeah, we're down here with 120%. There is nations that have more, but we're better than the majority. Uh, Morale-wise, yeah, we're number one by a wide margin. Siege ability, number one by a pretty good margin. Defensiveness, not so much. Professionalism, still quite good. And tradition, second most. Weirdly enough, these eagle hobgoblins have managed to stay around the whole game. And I guess... Oh, I guess they got popped out at some point. From Nugansuari. Who have hilariously migrated over to this region. Uh, let's look a little bit more around the world. The Nadam Raj is doing quite well. They managed to beat the... Uh, Command along with Dehui, Bimlao, Bifon Jin, and Wen Jinhui, of course. The Enix Empire basically has 80% of Bolwar, give or take. Current steward of the Ket is Olizna, and they do not have all of the Saros, so they will be feeling pain quite soon. Over in Alentir. Uh, looks relatively normal. Uh, Lorent managed to get these islands. Although they really didn't manage to get anything over here, which is a little bit surprising. It's all adventurer nations. Zanli, Sestamark, Sornicade. Danbury Guild, despite not getting their 
only having one province in their capital. Uh, the Triarchy form, which is a little bit unusual and very cool. Dragon Dominion grabbed everything, managed to convert everyone to. Uh, yep. Looks like culturally, culturally everything's pretty normal. The Mary is quite big. I don't, does the Mary have a mission tree? I'm like 90% sure they don't. Yeah, they do not. But yeah. Uh, Tier Moin. Steadsman. Are these, I can't remember who those guys are. Yeah, I think these are these Esmeri adventurers. No, these are mercenary band. All right, so that's the world. Pretty fun campaign. It's, I thought it was quite fun. Borsha shows up. I'm not sure why they show up. I think it has something to do with uh, stewardship of the sorrows, but I have no clue. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Next series will be recorded at some point in the near future. I hope you've enjoyed, and have a good day.